Now, uh, questions and answers from members of the public. I have notification that Mr. Elliot Dean wishes to ask a question of the Leader of the Council, Mr. Dean. If you'll approach the table in front of you and uh, press the button on the microphone. And when you finish, would you please press the button so it doesn't interrupt the other microphones. Thank you. So my uh, question is, having lived in Fant my entire life, I've recently observed the conversion of single homes into multi-occupant houses, for example, Barrow Lane, Florence, Douglas and Upper Fant Roads. This has resulted in over-density in an in an urban area, with resultant problems such as parking, congestion, lack of amenities, space and the deterioration of the local environment. I'd like to ask the Council how they in intend to address this issue in the forthcoming local plan and what measures they intend to take in advance of the local plan coming into place. Councillor Mrs Blackmore, would you please respond? Thank you very much, Mr Mayor, and thank you for your question. Um, I think it's fair to say a lot of the properties that have been converted can... This can take place under permitted development rights. So it's not necessarily within the um, council's control, and that can be done without planning permission. Um, as you've rightly said, there are several properties where this has already taken place, um, and this has caused a problem. And you're absolutely right. It is something we need to deal with urgently. Thank you, Councillor Blackmore. I ask now for a response from Councillor Mrs. Fran Wilson, Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Mr. Dean, I'm actually very, very grateful that you've brought this question here tonight because I know your area you're particularly concerned about, but this is actually now a problem. I don't think this is working properly. Yeah. This is now a problem for the entire circle around the centre of Maidstone, and my most recent advice is it is now spreading out into other, uh, into other suburbs. So it is something that we do need to address. In actual fact, we've long argued that this issue needs to be addressed, and it can only be done through the planning policies, to be honest. Um, there are some limited proposals in the draft local plan, but in our view they don't go far enough. Our group would go further in terms of preventing inappropriate residential conversions, extensions and subdivisions in areas that are not suitable. The question is how? We are currently investigating cutting-edge work from other authorities such as Ipswich, which is interesting because something they have done hasn't long been brought to our attention and we've just had it sent through to us. So our group are looking at other places to see what they've done and more importantly whether what they have done has stood up to challenge at appeal because that really is the, the crunch line. And as soon as we've done that for ourselves, we will not keep it to ourselves. We will be bringing specific proposals forward for discussion by this council. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councillor Mrs Wilson. I now call upon Councillor Mrs Gooch, the spokesperson representing the independent group. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'm very glad to hear that my colleagues are concerned about this because it's clearly something that does need to be addressed. Um, the roads are congested at the best of times and all this does is to increase those problems at an immediately local level. The irony is, of course, that we need housing and yet we're, the, we're converting them into small units or flats. And I didn't think we were that badly off. I stand to be corrected, but I thought we had quite a few flats and I'm not aware of a, of a, 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 a huge need for flats, but clearly they must be in a need, otherwise people wouldn't be doing it. I'd be very interested to see any uh, opportunity that comes forward to deal with it, but we have to deal with it through the policy. I, if I may, uh, suggest that if you do find that a planning application does come through, rather than hark on the highway impact, hark more on the local amenity and quality of life. Because the trouble is, well I say the trouble is, the fact is that where we do have significant highway issues, that is not necessarily the route to have a permission refused. Do you see what I mean? So I would add that to the advice of my colleagues. But again, thank you for raising it. 
thank you, Councillor Mrs. Gooch. Um, may I now call upon the leader of the um, U U United Kingdom Independence Party, uh, Councillor Mackay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Councillor Eddie Powell. Sorry, you try reading this. Well, sure, if the reply isn't satisfactory, it's to keep it, Mr. Mackay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think everybody's actually mentioned what was going. This is an issue around the whole of the country at the moment. There's many people going in that they're buying big houses and they're converting them into flats. It's, it's an issue that is not just localised to Maidstone. It's the whole country. But what I would say is that we do have a planning committee. We do have people that can look at individual cases, and it's at those individual cases, taken on board Councillor Gucci's advice that she's just given, which I think was excellent advice, that the appeal or the actual opportunity for you to go there, or whoever the people are in that particular road, to actually state it, because it's things that would be taken into consideration. There is a policy, as far as I understand, to actually kind of deal with each one of these individual cases. But if it is really a concern of the people of that particular area, get the people of that particular area to position it, to understand it, and bring those points to the council, and then it's up to the council to take responsibility in its own way. Am I Powell or Mackay? <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Powell. I'll get it right this time. I now call upon Councillor Mackay, the leader of the Labour Group, to answer. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you for getting my name right. <laughs> In view of the fact this relates to fans, I will defer to my deputy, Mr Councillor Harper, to respond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'll try to keep my time down. I must admit my enthusiasm took the better of me last night, as people will have, uh, have seen. So make sure that I don't go on too long. I mean, the Labour Party fully supports Mr. Dean's question, um, and it's very good to see that we're getting support from all the other parties in terms of a serious issue. Um, only recently, in fact, through canvassing for the local elections, there was a large number of two- and three-bedroom houses, and they're being subdivided and ending up to five beds in. So it's actually quite worrying to find a three-bedroom house being dwelled in by five or more individuals as separate accommodation. This, as um, Councillor Gooch says, leads to a massive reduction in quality of life for everybody, let alone the people in those accommodations, congestion, um, and reduction of local amenity and also back garden development. Labour is totally committed to pushing policies in the local plan to prevent overdevelopment, not only in Fan but in the inner area of Maidstone, including High Street, North Street um, and parts of Bridge. And we're also committed to doing all we can do within the planning laws and procedures to oppose any subdivision of properties in the inner area of the town in advance of the local plan coming into place. Uh, thank you, Councillor Harper. C um, can I please ask the spe per spokesperson representing the independent group, turn your mic off. Oh. 